Hi guys, PJ here, back with another Tom Clancy's Breakpoint video. This time I'm going to be showing you a handful of Easter eggs in the game. Some of them are well known, some of them are not so well known. We'll start with one that I literally stumbled across while walking around the map. This is a B-52 Super Fortress, if I'm not mistaken, that's just crashed many years ago looking at it. And there is some lore in the box there, so you might want to visit this place, get the lore, have a quick read up on it. And as you walk around, I mean, there's bits, fragments of the plane sort of scattered around because obviously it's crashed and it crashed many, many years ago. So the undergrowth's grown over it, but it's not alone. So it sort of tells its own little story. It's crashed, but why has it crashed? Well, if you look in the distance beyond the plane there, I'm just walking up to it. There's a crashed, what looks like zero, Japanese zero. So maybe, uh, you know, that attacked this in its day and it's crash landed here. And, you know, this one didn't make it either, so they sort of took each other out in a way. But, uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. You know, it's a um, bit of history on the island and uh, some relics like this I do find very interesting to, to sort of look at. But as for its location, I will show you that on the map. We're basically down near Mount Herbert and um, sort of stumbled across this as you go into one of the more major quests in the game. So right down at the bottom of the map there, right, you know, coastal section, Mount Herbert, follow it down uh, as you're approaching and you will find it. Like I say, it's on a tier sort of on the side of the mountain. So you can, you've got a mission there, look, that you actually go to the Aurora Hospital and it sort of overlooks that area. So I popped my helicopter quite next to it just walked down a little bit. I was actually looking for a sniper position, to be honest with you, and stumbled across, yeah, this aeroplane. But let's move on to the second one in these uh, Easter eggs, shall we? Now, this one is long running. Guys, this started out in Wildlands and now we're on Breakpoint and it seems the story of the little Easter egg is ongoing between the two games. In fact, there's been a really big search over on Reddit for this thing for months to see if it actually goes anywhere. Well, yeah, this is Bigfoot. Okay, so we're trying to track Bigfoot down. And you're gonna start by going to this cabin or this couple of little cabins, cabin in a shed. Now, the cabin in the shed have got some lore in them and bits and bobs to worth visiting. If you had a look there on the map, you see the location of it. There's a, you know, a campsite very nearby. You can land near it, which is nice. There's not really any bad guys around either, so it's ideal to just, you know, have a good wander around. I did survey the surrounding area, didn't find any sort of stuff related to this in the slightest, but the cabin has some interesting stuff in it. Now, as you walk into the cabin, yes, you've got a chest with law, and we'll have a look at that very shortly, but there's some other artifacts that I thought might draw a bit of a picture here. We've got a camera, water bottle, hat, rope, so maybe an explorer, that type of thing, you know, who used to live here. And when you get your law, which we'll just pop out now. Yeah, we've got a crappy helmet, we don't really need that. But there's a bookshelf behind, and there's a table here. Now the table's got some really huge bear traps on it. I think they're pretty damn big. Uh, some sort of document to the side there which looks like it's something to do with trapping animals or getting uh, getting animals. But the lorry is located in the centre of the house. There's a bookcase there sticking out from the wall. There's a bit of lore on that. There's nothing on the other bookcase that's that important. We've got a weird guitar thing there which uh, supposedly was actually made for a specific reason but still. So you're collectible is a document that's been written, or a treasure log as it's called there, and it's called it the Beast Slayer, funnily enough. So if we have a look at the Beast Slayer, it says, I've been tracking the animal for days now. Its lair is near near the river to the south of Impumptuous Stream. North from here, cross the bridge to the east, then follow the road. Take the first turn left and continue down the road. Take the next turn and continue until you come to another bridge, then turn right. That to me was quite sort of complicated to follow, but, well, you've got to find it, haven't you? That was step one, so we've got to go to step two and find the 
so-called beast layer, which, yep, we'll go and do now. This takes you alongside a small stream at the edge of Ramford Mountain. But it is really tucked away and it's very, very easy to miss. So what we'll do, we'll jump in the chopper, fly over there now and show you the exact location of this place. I landed the chopper quite high up on the mountain because I didn't actually know what I was looking for. So I thought, well, if we start at the top, work our way down, it might be easier to find than, uh, you know, going up and searching all the nooks and crannies. It's not the river, but I'm showing you the river there for a bit of a reference, or the stream rather. So you've got the stream as reference there. And if you go across to the next ledge down, so you've gone down from the top of the mountain, down to the second ledge, down to the next one. And what you're looking for is a spine on the floor. Yeah, so like a bone spine and you can see it right there below me. So there's the spine that you're looking for. That's sort of your clue that you're near the entrance to the cave. It's, uh, I don't know if it's a human spine. It could be an animal spine. Who knows really with this, uh, this game and these weird Easter eggs. You never quite know what you're going to find or get. But anyway, once you go to the spine, you're going to find the cave. It's tucked to the right just behind it. So don't walk straight on definitely look right I've seen a couple of people i was with a team actually and they actually went wandering off out of the way on their own system so there's some claw marks on the edge of the cave that you can see we got a couple of other details got some more bones inside and some more claw marks on the ground we've got a pulse hole that's dead and it's got a claw marks straight across the back and yep we've got another loot chest in there to go i mean there's not much else here other than the bones and stuff it's as if it's a well, a beast layer, literally, you know. But uh, you've got some layers, some bits and bobs to look at. There's nothing under the top. I did a good scout around of the entire mountain range and didn't find anything else related to this whatsoever. So I can save you the time of going up and down the mountain, up and down the stream, and having a look around the whole area. I've done it. There is nothing else to find related to this whatsoever. So with that in mind, let's move on to our next Easter egg. Now this one's down sort of the bottom end of the map near Mirror Lake and I would say it's one of the cooler Easter eggs that are available in the game and it's quite a big area to sort of have a look around. It's a, a, a sort of a island type place to be honest with you. It's on its own, it looks small on the map but there's quite a lot there. And it has been referred to in the past by some people as a certain thing, but, well, we're in 2021 now, and some of the stuff has been released by Ubisoft, so maybe they were wrong. Let's go and fly to the location and have a look at the actual place. Here we are on a reddish coloured small island with loads of these weird stone carvings. Now you'll notice a bunker door further up, we'll have a look at that shortly. This island in the past has been referred to as what is possibly Zombie Island, but I'm looking at some of the carvings and stuff and I'm looking at some of the structure that's up here, I don't know. 
is this sort of Valhalla related? Bear in mind this game came out way before Valhalla. But I'm just looking at the carvings and stuff. I don't know, is this Viking orientated? Have people been barking up the wrong tree? Thinking Zombie Island? Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, as usual, there's a crate. This time I've got some nice scale credits in there for us to pick up. But the main thing, I mean, there is actually a shipwreck as well, by the way. So there's like a like a long boat. It looks a bit Vikingy, to be honest. But that's over the over the far shore here. I'll leave you to go and have a look at that. It's just in the distance that you can see there, near the, the wild ball that's running around. So go and have a look at that when you visit the island. Um, but the main thing is that doorway, or you know whatever it is a bunker it's probably a bunker so if we go around to the doorway what i'm going to actually do is turn the sound up and this is why people thought it was a zombie island or a zombie place or maybe a load of drones in there i don't know but there's some really weird noises coming from it have a listen see what you think pop it in the comments if you've got any ideas because i don't know Okay, with the weird Viking zombie island, whatever the heck it is, out of the way, let's move on to another, well, slightly odd one, shall we say. I'm showing you the location to run from to start with here, because I thought the trees were, you know, a bit interesting, and it's quite tricky to find, so you've got to sort of run through all this twisted forest to actually get to the location. What we're looking for is quite a large cabin. Uh, it's fairly near a drone site, we'll show you on the map very shortly, but this again has got me a bit puzzled as to what it relates to i've got a couple of ideas but maybe you guys you know have got something that you might come up with that i haven't thought of i don't know but anyway follow the route and we'll pull the map up shortly We're in restricted area 01. Okay, quite a lot of these weird oddities are in this sort of chunk of land, to be honest with you. But we're in the, the very edge of it, yeah. So we're right on the southern border of restricted area 01. And um, as you can see, it is again down the bottom of the map for that location. So if you, you know, if you've not played much of the game, you don't unlock much of the map. That's why I'm showing you from Airwash so you can see how to get there. Um, from the main sort of encampment as it were but we're right there near the stream or from the stream and here's your cabin now this is this is a freaky one guys i don't know what to make of this at all looks normal enough can't see any other damage or any other weird things with the cabin but when you go around the back because all the windows and doors are boarded up which is on its own a bit strange you've got a door where well it's got a cut out, okay? Uh, yes, I can imagine the jokes that are going to come from this, but maybe not, because if we go inside, there's actually that shape cut out flat on the floor. Now, I don't know, chainsaw massacre, maybe? Because if we look next to the cut out, there is actually a chainsaw on the floor. So could it relate to that, maybe? Or am I missing something here? Maybe there's something movie related. I don't know. We've got a map. On the table that i'll take a close look at with photo mode and we've got these pictures on the wall but they didn't seem anything interesting they were just basic boring cabins as such i'm not quite sure what they're all about
Okay, last one here, guys. Now, if you've played Wildlands, you'll be very, very familiar with the red buttons. Yeah, the Easter eggs from Wildlands. If you're not sure what I'm on about, have a quick look back through my channel. I've covered the red buttons on Wildlands and what they do and where they all are a long time ago, but it is there. And this red button is right near the huge dam. Okay, so again, if we look on the map, we're in a similar location as to where we were, to be honest with you. So there's Liberty down at the bottom. The huge dam is just above where we're currently stood. And there's Airhorn again, so we can see, you know, if you're new to the game, where to go. There's the dam, small lake straight in front of it. We're stood in front of that little U-shaped recess looking down. And, um, well, there's the button to press. Now, I am going to say to you, preferably, if you can, do this at night so you know go to one of the little camping spots change the time of day to night time if possible if you're not bothered obviously just do it that's what i did but um yeah it's quite a show you know and uh, it's worth pressing why not so let's press it so if you don't want to see it pause <laughs> and there we go we have a pretty big firework display going on it lasts for a few seconds and uh, it's quite glamorous but like i say you want to try it at night really daytime you don't really get the full effect but guys, that's it for this Easter egg video. I'll catch you again shortly with some more interesting things and facts for this game. Bye for now.